Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting video. In this video, we continue uh, revising through the November 2022 Science Paper 2. Okay, we have now reached uh, question B3. And question B3 is uh, a question that looks at atomic structure. Okay, uh, the structure of an atom and and so on and so forth. So question B3 reads, the following table shows the structure of four particles, P, Q, R, and T. The following table shows the structures of four particles, P, Q, R, and T. So if we look at the table, okay, if we look at the table, we've got particle here where we have P, Q, R, and T. Then here we have number, number of uh, the, the first, the second column here, the first column of the number is showing protons. Uh, we have protons and uh, the next we have neutrons and lastly we have number of electrons. So if we analyze this one, we have particle P. Particle P has 11 protons, 12 neutrons and 11 electrons. Particle Q has 11 protons, 13 neutrons, and 11 electrons. Particle R has 12 protons, 12 neutrons, and 10 electrons. While particle T has got 8 protons, 8 neutrons, and 10 electrons. All right, uh, let's, let's go to question A. So question A is, uh, reads, which particle is a neutral atom? Which particle is a neutral atom? All right. Now, for us to, 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 to state which particle is neutral or not, we need to know where uh, electrical neutrality of an atom comes from. Okay. So uh, the fundamental holders of charge uh, in the universe are protons, 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 and electrons, okay? Protons and electrons. Protons give us the positive charge, while electrons give us the negative charge, all right? So, uh, if in a particular situation, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. It means it's almost like you are adding and removing the same number. Let's take for example, if an atom has, let's say, two protons and it also has two electrons, it means you have uh, a positive two and a negative two. So if you brought these together, you are putting them together, in mathematics it will be like you're adding them. So if you add, Positive 2 plus negative 2. What do you get? You get 0. Okay? You get 0. And this will be the overall charge of uh, the element. So, if the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons, then the atom is neutral. Are we together? If the number of protons and the number of electrons is equal, then we have a neutral atom. However, there are certain situations where uh, the number of protons, the number of protons is greater than the number of electrons. In this particular case, you have more positive than negative. Therefore, if you have a number, let's say you now have three protons and you have oh, two uh, electrons. So you have you have two electrons. Okay, so it's almost like you're adding a positive uh, three and a negative two. What are you going to have? So in mathematics, you say you get the child, the, the 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 symbol of the of the biggest number, which is positive. Okay, then you say three minus two, which will give us one. So it will be a positive charge. So a positive charges are formed when the number of uh, protons is greater than the number of electrons. 
It therefore means that negative charges will be formed when the number of electrons is greater than the number of, of uh, protons. So when the number of electrons is greater than the number of protons, we have a negative charge. When the number of protons is greater than the number of electrons, we have a positive charge. And when the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons, then we have a neutral Okay, so knowing that, we can now uh, go into our question. So what we are looking for, for a neutral atom, we need the number of protons to be equal to the number of electrons. So particle P has got, so allow me to just uh, draw a line here so that we can now put the charge here of each. So for particle P, the number of protons is 11. We are not interested in the neutrons and the number of electrons is 11. Therefore, this one will be neutral. Okay, because 11 minus 11 is 0, neutral. For particle Q, the num we have 11 protons and again 11 electrons. Again, this is the neutral. Okay, for particle R, we have 12 uh, protons and 10 electrons. So we have an excess. So 12 minus 10 is 2. But this 2 is coming from the positively charged yeah, protons. So this will have a 2 plus uh, charge. Are we together? This, this will be positively charged with a 2 plus uh, charge. Okay. Particle T has got 8 electron, uh, 8 protons and 10 uh, electrons. Here we have more electrons which are negatively charged. Okay, so we are going to say 10 minus 8, which is 2. Now, this 2 is coming from where? From the negatively charged electrons, so it is negative. So, 2 negative. So, here now the final conclusion is that we have 2. We have two neutral atoms, one positively charged uh, ion and one negatively charged ion. So here what we are going to say, which particle is a neutral atom? So you can choose from the two. Okay, any of them is correct. So uh, P, you, choo you can choose P or you can choose Q. Why, why are we choosing one? Uh, if it was two marks, obviously they would have said which ones. So because of the one mark, so any, you can put both of them, but uh, any one of them will be fine. All right, we move on. Uh -huh. Which particle is a negative ion? Which particle is a negative ion? State its charge. Which particle is a negative ion? State its charge. So we've already gone through this. So the particle which is a negative ion is T. So we're going to put T there. And the charge, we already determined the charge to be 2 minus. So we are going to put 2 minus. So that will be uh, the charge. Okay? It will be a negative 2. So that will be our charge. All right, we proceed. C. Which two particles are isotopes? Which two particles are isotopes? Give a reason for your answer. Which two particles are isotopes? Now, uh, we need first to know what isotopes are. What are isotopes? Isotopes are atoms of the same element. Now, what does that mean? Uh, an element is defined by the number of protons it has. So, isotopes are atoms that have the same identity, meaning these are atoms that have the same number of protons. Okay? So, isotopes will have the same number of protons. However, the difference between isotopes is that they have different masses, okay? They have different masses. And now, uh, remember or take note that the mass, the mass of an element is the sum 
of the number of protons and the number of neutrons. So if we are saying that they have the same number of protons, but the masses are different, it means the difference is coming from the number of neutrons. Okay, so we can say that these are atoms that have the same number of protons but have different number of neutrons. They have the same number of protons but have different number of neutrons. So which atoms have the same number of protons? So we have P with 11, we have Q with 11. So these have the same number of protons. So they are atoms of the same element. Now we go to neutrons. Do these have the same number of neutrons? No. Particle P has got 12, while particle Q has got 13. So they have different masses. So these are isotopes. So it's a P and Q. P and Q. P and Q are isotopes. Reasons. They have different number. They have the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. All right, so that that is uh, uh, about C. So P and Q are isotopes, and the reason is that they have the same number of protons but different number of uh, neutrons. We proceed um, to D. D is saying use the periodic table to identify particle R. Use the periodic table to identify particle R. R, this is a R. Now, remember what I said when I was talking about uh, isotopes. We, I said that the identity of an element uh, lies in the number of protons. And the number of protons is called the atomic number. We do not look at the number of electrons or the number of neutrons to identify an element. So we will go to the periodic table and find the element that has got you the atomic number 12, meaning they have 12 protons. So uh, we go to the periodic table of elements. However, always check the kind of periodic table you are using by checking the key. The key is very important. This key, it's very important. So for this periodic table I'm using, it's slightly different from these other periodic table we, you, we mostly use. In this periodic table, the number on top is the atomic number and the number below is the mass number so i'm going to the top of this of the symbol of the element and look for 12. so i've got four uh, i've got three four eleven twelve so twelve this is the element this is the element i am actually looking for so the element is magnesium the element is magnesium magnesium has got 12 protons or atomic number 12. So I go back and I will state that this is magnesium. This is magnesium. All right, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, see you next time.